Hello bays, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be not doing makeup, we're gonna be talking, I'm gonna be talking to you guys, and I'm gonna be, basically we're gonna get into like, just girl talk, boy talk, spirituality, mental health, being a woman, being a woman, being a black woman, being a black man, anything black in 2023, and just, Things that help me in a positive way to keep myself motivated, keep myself grounded, keep myself with some vision for the, my dreams and my desires and my manifestations that I am manifesting for this year. 2023 is the year of seven. This is my favorite number, my lucky number. I was born on the seventh day of September. So this year just seems a bit different in a lot of ways, in a lot of good ways. It just feels different. It just feels like we're on the beginning of being on the right track of just being human beings and being human beings on this planet. A lot of things are being exposed. A lot of, a lot of stuff is just going on around us. And I'm gonna be sharing five tips, five things that has helped me keep myself motivated um, in a positive mindset, gave me courage and just being the best version of myself and mentally, spiritually, emotionally to get to where I wanted to be at the end of 2023. For 2023, I have a lot of manifestations. I also did a mood board for the first time in my entire life because it felt like this year was a year to do this. And I was just like, okay, let's just do it for this year. Like, let's do it. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be sharing five tips on things that has helped me keep myself motivated, keep myself in a mental, a positive light. So before we get into this video, for those who are new here, hi, my name is Elisa Danielle. Um, I'm all about women empowerment. I'm all about just being that girl, being that black boy, being that black girl. Um, spirituality, mental health. Um, I do vlogs, I do lifestyle, I do makeup, as you can see. Um, and yeah, like I just I do everything on this channel. I don't want to set myself to like limits on this channel. I just want to just do everything. Whatever my mind tells me to do, I just want to do that. You know so if you want to be that girl with me because i'm that girl or that boy make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and down below if you're returning hey babe welcome back we're gonna be talking this one this one's gonna be quick i'm not gonna be talking for like 45 minutes i'm gonna keep it to a limit okay so i have five things that's helped me keep myself motivated and keep my keep me in a, a positive light when i'm feeling lost in the tunnel and just stagnant and just unmotivated and just yucky and i don't want to get up and do anything we're gonna start with number one i wrote everything down on my phone on my notes so i'm gonna be looking down for, for a little bit just because it's not off the top of my head these were off the top of my head when i was in that moment i was at that high of wanting to do this video but i gotta read it long story short so number one was i watched videos in the field or in the area that i wanted to be in so like for example i'm a youtuber and i do youtube so throughout my free time i watch other youtubers other black youtubers it just keeps me motivated like wow like look at where they're at you get what i'm saying i know that my story my path is completely different but it makes me just feel like okay like if that girl can do it if that boy can do it i can do it like you get what i'm saying like that keeps me motivated. That keeps the gasoline in my tank because I'm just like, okay, when I see them and I just see like the success or I just see or I hear their story because some of them like they'll express themselves throughout their videos and they'll just let you know like how far they come. I'm just like, dang, like I wonder what my story is going to be like. I wonder how I'm going to look when I'm there and I'm just like 250,000 subscribers in and I just want to be a person that when they come to when you guys come to my channel it's just like okay it's elisa like what can i ask her i'm big on giving advice so i don't mind giving thousands of people advice you get what i'm saying like because that makes me feel good like i'm a virgo we love helping people in any way we can so it would make me feel good knowing that people are going to come to me and they're going to tune into my videos and they're like oh my god like you motivate me you keep me going like ugh. It's gonna be feel so good. So I'm excited for that. So I watch other YouTubers and they do that for me as to what I wanna do for YouTube other people when when God tells me it's time to blow up. And yeah, I watch other YouTubers. That keeps me motivated. Like I will wake up in the morning and the first thing I wanna do is put YouTube on. Why? Because I'm just like 
we gotta get a video done today. We gotta, you know, we gotta get in the zone. Let me watch my girl Kyra. Let me watch my girl um, Taja. Let me watch my girl Chelsea J. And I'm like, yeah, let me watch the girls and get myself in that mode. Let me get that gasoline in my tank. So that is one thing that I do. Any genre you're in, I don't know, like maybe just, maybe look at like, I don't know, like, stories like go on google if you want to be a doctor just go on google and look at like stories of doctors and stuff like how they got there it's just gonna make you just you know the story is gonna get you going okay so uh, that's what helps me these are things that help me i'm not gonna say that this is gonna help you it absolutely but i feel like it is if you're as passionate as i am about being where you want to be and you have the biggest desires and the biggest goals for yourself these will help you let me just say that i'll just say that okay so the second one so when i have things to do so sometimes i get this high of just a bunch of ideas and i'm just like dang i should do a video about this i should do a video about that i should do this i should go take pictures i should do some tiktoks i should do my makeup or just anything i'm like let me write it down because I'm at this high and this high is not going to be here forever. So let me write this stuff down. I put it on my dry erase board, right on my um refrigerator. And when I am feeling low and that high was off and let's say I didn't get everything I needed to get done that I was thinking about doing during that high of just creativity. When I wake up and I leave my room, I see that I'm like, okay, I remember how I felt when I was writing this down. I remember, you know, the energy I was feeling so i'm just it, it kind of just makes you feel like i gotta finish that i gotta do that because those are good ass ideas like those are you know what i'm saying like damn I, I thought about that like you know what i'm saying so write it down the minute that you feel that high of just wanting to i don't know let's say like you want to be you want to be a doctor and writing things writing a to-do list according to your specific field it, it helps you get closer to it because you're actually doing these things and it feels good to check them off you're like okay today for me okay today i took pictures okay today i filmed a chit chat get ready with me today i did a tiktok okay i feel good and that every one of those things is like getting me closer to being an influencer and being just that girl that i already am like that <laughs> no i'm joking okay so that is number two is there any more details on that okay yeah so like basically write a to-do list down so that when you wake up every morning you see that shit and you can't ignore it because it's there unless you wipe it off but you wake up every morning because you gotta go in your fridge at least three times a day like you know what I'm saying? That's the least. So you're going to see that every time before you open your fridge, that to-do list you got to do. So it's going to keep reminding you, reminding you, reminding you, reminding you. Like, it's like an annoying reminder. But it's a good annoying reminder because it's a reminder to go for your dreams. You get what I'm saying? So, yes. I like writing to-do lists. And I'm a Virgo. Y'all know. Me, like, writing things down and sticky notes and, like, all that boring stuff. Okay. <sighs> So number three, um, when I do have my to-do list and I dedicate a certain day to something on my to-do list, I wake up early that day. So for example, if I wanted to film a chit chat, get ready with me, or if I want to take pictures, or if I want to just do some TikToks, I wake up early so that for one, if I'm lazy, I have time still because like I could be late. I could wake up at like seven o'clock, be lazy till like nine and then like 9.30, I could start it and it's still early, you know, or just, I feel like something about waking up super early and starting your day and doing the things that you told yourself you were gonna do. I feel like for some reason you just get it done because it's early. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just it's just wake up early wake up early when you have to get things done because you're most likely to gonna get them done honestly i do i do know why if you wake up late you won't have that much time to get it done and you're gonna get the clock and be like oh my god it's seven o'clock too late i'll do it tomorrow you're not gonna talk yourself out of it if you wake up at seven o'clock a.m and you're just like oh it's nine o'clock a.m i'll do it tomorrow no the day just started so you can do it today so wake up early okay don't wake up late 
Okay, so the fourth one is spiritual. Yeah, I know me. I'm spiritual Lisa. And this is one that everyone knows. Like TikTok has blown spirituality up to like. So everyone should know that this is something that you should do when you're in the process of manifesting something or you have a vision for yourself or if you're feeling stagnant. For all of my spiritual woke beings, we all know that meditation is like a big thing a big thing that you can do when it comes down to just manifesting something and just when you have desires and goals meditating on those things and feeling it and envisioning it in your meditative state will not only help you manifest it but it will kind of keep you going because you have that vision in your brain like you get what i'm saying it's kind of like astral projecting like quantum jump quantum leaping like you're literally meditating on yourself where you want to be at a year from now two years from now and that vision stays with you like when you see yourself in that big house or you see yourself with that family or you see yourself with all that money you see yourself successful in any in the business field that you're in that stays with you like throughout the day you're like wow like I was really envisioning myself like that meditative that meditative vision that you've seen is gonna stick with you and if you do that every day I, I try to do it in the morning if I don't do it in the morning I do it at night I'll do it for as long as I feel like doing it sometimes I do it for 10 minutes so I do it for like 45 minutes it just depends I the longest I've ever meditated was like for like an hour and 25 minutes and I was just like in the zone for a long time and that was when I was meditating on my business Virgo Cosmetics and I literally found the name, I found the like style I wanted my lip glosses to be, I found the shades, it just came to me so quick because I was meditating on it and I was literally listening to Source and just like, okay, like what should this be like? Not really literally asking those questions, I mean you can if that's how you receive your knowledge or you receive your, you know, your answers, but I was just... I would think about them I'm like okay a name for my business and I'll just sit there and just whatever feels right Virgo I love astrology and cosmetics like it's a Virgo's cosmetics I'm a Virgo and this is my cosmetics so love it came up with it through meditation so manifesting trying to decide something or just anything meditate on it don't go to your therapist just meditate girl don't go to your boyfriend don't call your, don't call Shaniqua don't call Shantae don't call Akeem don't call Kevin meditate on it and source will give you the answers to any problem you have so that is that's the fourth thing that I do when it comes down to just feeling stagnant feeling lost feeling confused I just meditate and that keeps me motivated as well because I see those visions so meditation can help you in so many ways so many, so many, so many. Back to what I was saying about calling Shaniqua, calling Shantae, calling Kevin, and calling Hakeem, Hakeem. If those people are people who are on your team and they genuinely want to see you win and they're genuinely just, you know, from point A to point M, not to Z yet, but from point A to point M, pick the closest one to you. Pick the one that, you know, you feel like you can tell them things and their genuine spirit is just manifesting. Like they're manifesting it with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you'll know what those people are. You know, you'll know when you have those people around you. You will know because it'll just be, you'll feel that you're on the same frequency as them. Y'all both want this together. You get what I'm saying? So mine is my best friend Lydia and my boyfriend. So my boyfriend has to know because I live with him. So when I have to do videos or I have to take pictures, I speak about it. And this specifically, I'm gonna say it works for me. I speak about it because it's kind of like, if I tell my boyfriend that I have to film a video for YouTube and I don't film that video, he's gonna be like, didn't you tell me you had to film a video earlier? And it's gonna bring me back to like, okay, bitch, get your ass up for that video because you don't want your man thinking you're some lazy bitch and you, you're not a woman in your word, so. In that way, it helps me because it's like, okay, I told you I was going to do this, so I got to do it because you feel me. Like, that's just, that's just me. And also, are you speaking to certain people? Because not everybody, even some people you love, people that love you, not all of them want to see you win. But it's get that one person 
that's on your team and y'all are here and i tell you two beings towards manifesting one goal is going to go twice as fast because there's two beings doing it at the same time speak about it to people that generally want to see you win speak the things that you want to do to people who generally want to see you win i tell you your manifestation will come faster because two energies is like two high vibrations is like da -da -da -da, boom like you know what i'm saying like you're gonna get there twice as faster so speak about it to people who want to see you win specifically like i'm being i'm putting emphasis on it because if you tell the wrong person they could stop the bag they could stop it. They could stop the train from going, I'm telling you. So be very careful on who you tell your visions and goals to and make sure you tell those people who want to see you win. If they're helping you in the process, I'm not saying just openly go to somebody that want to see you win and just tell them, but if they're there throughout the process, speak to them throughout the process of doing it. Like my boyfriend, he's here throughout the process of me doing YouTube. And when I need to do a video, I tell him what I have to do that day. Today I have to film a video and I need to take pictures and I need to do TikToks. So that when he sees me on my ass doing nothing, he tells me, didn't you say you gotta film a video? Didn't you say you gotta do a TikTok? So, tell the right people. Okay babe, so that is five things that I do and use to keep myself motivated when I'm feeling stagnant, lost, confused, and just unmotivated towards my desires and my dreams and my goals. Cause trust me, you can want something really bad, but not really have the energy towards it. I don't know why that's a thing for some people. It's a thing for me. Like I want, I have a certain goal for myself and there are days where I just don't want to do anything. Just because I'm a woman, we get, you know, we get moody. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As I always say, I love y'all so much. I thank you all for supporting me. Everyone that comments, everyone that likes, everyone that views. Thank you. I, I love you so, 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 so much. We are on the road to 100,000. I keep saying hundred thousand dollars. I'm making hundred thousand dollars, but leave it. But right now, we on the road to hundred thousand YouTube subscribers before the end of this year. We are at twenty seven hundred, I think, and we can do it. We can do it. Listen, with God and my spirit gods and Jesus, my ancestors, the universe, Mother Nature, it's gonna happen. So. 2023 is our year and um, I'm excited for what's in, what's in store for us because <sighs> it's only gotten better for me. I'm going to say that. It's only gotten better for me. So I love y'all and I'm going to see y'all in my next video.